just last year, one of you shared one of your favorite games that your kids enjoyed, especially your boys. And I soon picked it up. It's called the Touring Tumble. Here is the box. And one of the things that excited me most about it was just the fact that it really was demonstrating how computers work and it spoke to that STEM and STEAM part of learning that I was interested in, but I loved that it was completely screen free. And it didn't take long for my husband and my son to fall in love with Touring Tumble. And I, I know I've mentioned this before, but my husband has a PhD in mechanical engineering. He works as a software engineer, but his specialty when he got his degree was in controls, which is how computers and machines talk to each other. So this was right up his alley. And of course, I know that, that a lot of boys out there really love computers and they love machines and they love learning how things work. And I think there's a big push for getting our kids on screens to learn those things. And I'm just here to tell you that that's not where you need to start. We can start with building basic math principles and awesome activities like this. So I'm going to turn it over to my husband, Tyler, and my son to show you how Touring Tumble works. Tyler and my son. <laughs> okay, show us how Touring Tumble works. All right, so this is the game board, and the basic setup is you have these marbles that you stack at the top, and then you release them by pushing these levers at the bottom. You push the one on the left, it makes a blue marble come out. You push the one on the right, it makes a red marble come out. And as they fall, you can set these different game pieces on here, and it controls how the marbles fall down. And so you... The, the purpose of the game is to figure out how to arrange all these pieces on here so that the marbles come down the way you want. And it's usually like one red, one blue, and then three more reds or something like that. And each puzzle is described in this awesome uh, puzzle book. So right now we're working on puzzle number 29 and it tells us you start with this purple gear here you get one more purple gear, one red gear, this orange piece, and as many green ramps as you want. And this is what we need to figure out. So we've started by putting all of these green pieces on here and this orange piece. This is our first attempt. I don't think it's quite gonna work yet, but we can show you what it'll do. Will you okay. start this off? Oh. We had it the wrong way. Okay, we got one blue and one red, and here comes another blue. Hmm, looks like we're gonna alternate between blue and red here. Don't think we have it right yet. It's supposed to do all, oh, we a bunch of blue and then One red. blue, one red, and then only blue after that. Okay, so this is part of the process, right? Figuring it out as you go. Exactly. Yeah. So, one of the reasons that I really like this game is that it's completely mechanical. All of these pieces have to work mechanically for the puzzle, for you to be able to solve the puzzle. And it's well built, so they actually work like they're supposed to. I, I always get really frustrated when I get a toy and it's cheap and it doesn't really work like it's supposed to. This works. It's really fun to play with. And the kiddos get to see how mechanical systems work too. And tell me about computers, because to me, I'm like, I still don't get what does this have to do with computers? So the fundamental piece of a computer is this idea of a switch, something that can decide if it's on or off based on other inputs. And you cascade, you just set up, you know, I think it's billions of transistors that are on microchips now that all are connected to each other to make these decisions. All how they move and... While the construction is different from what you'd see inside of a computer, the theory is the same. It's a very simple flow control, and you just build up a lot of complexity around that to make it do cool things. All right, so, you guys want a demo? Yeah, fire it off. With luck, we'll have just solved puzzle 29. There's a blue, red, blue. Sometimes it needs a little help. So cool. Mm, it's kind of getting caught on that one. 
That's awesome, you guys. I think we got it. Woohoo! So this is what it looks like. This they don't sell on Amazon because they like to have a direct contact with their customers, which I I really love. And we put it on our gift guide, even though we you know we couldn't promote it through Amazon and earn any money that way. And especially if you have someone in your house who would enjoy doing this with your son or daughter, then it's a double win because we're all about connection. So swipe up to catch up, to check out Touring Tumble. These guys have one more thing they've got to tell you. Yeah, I wanted to show you this one more connection to the world of computers. These blue pieces are called bits and it's just like a bit of information. So it can tell you if it's pointing right, that means one pointing left it means zero and then in the binary world this would be in the zero and ones place this is in the twos column this is in the four column so to to represent a number like that would be four zero plus zero plus four or this would be three one plus two plus zero makes three so you arrange it like this and now this is going to mechanically count the number of marbles that come rolling down Will you start that for us? All right, so there's one plus zero plus zero, one marble. Now zero plus two plus 